Hey everybody, I'm Karar and welcome to the first Memtech, a series of videos that attempt to make concepts and vocabulary easier to remember using various tips and tricks. Today, I'll be talking about my philosophy about memorization. The first thing you have to know about memorization is that it's all about connections. You have to associate one thing with another. There are three basic ways we do that. First, direct connections. These are the word to definition, predator prey, problem to answer relationships that we memorize straight from our textbooks. These can be strengthened by repeatedly going through flashcards or reading about the same thing multiple times. Quizlet is my go-to for making direct connections. Of course, these are the most basic connections you need to have, but they're not always enough. They work if you're cramming for a driver's ed test, but if you're trying to memorize an entire textbook for a biology olympiad or a theorem you're going to have to know for a long time in math, you're going to need more. The second type of connections are application connections. If we repeatedly use a concept to answer questions or solve problems, we associate the concept with a certain application, and simply the act of using it over and over again cements it in our brains. In some scenarios, this works perfectly. For studying, for math, physics, and chem, you can do tons of problems on a certain topic, and eventually the idea will stick in your head. Want to learn how to use conservation of energy equations? Find a physics textbook and grind out all the problems. Unfortunately, not all concepts are easily applied. Most of bio and select parts of physics and chem are nearly impossible to memorize through application. How in the world do you apply the fact that Lavoisier was the father of chemistry? Of course, teachers try to find creative ways to make students apply their knowledge of scientists and vocab by making colorful posters and presentations, but to be honest, this isn't very practical if there's a large thing, set of things to memorize. The third and final type are indirect connections. This is where we come in. The more connections you make between two things, the more likely you are to be able to associate the two in the future. You can think of it as a web. One connection seems pitifully weak, but as you add more and more connections to the network, the connections become more and more fail-safe. If one connection fails, the others will work in its place. This is why mnemonic devices are so powerful. For example, Roman men invented very unusual x-ray guns is a perfect way to memorize the electromagnetic spectrum. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet rays, x-ray, and gamma rays. The main difficulty is coming up or finding these types of connections, and this is why mem tanks exist. Our mem tanks are condensed packages of indirect connections. They'll have compilations of mnemonic devices, graphics, and interesting tricks for memorizing annoying science concepts. Hopefully this video taught you something new about memorization. If there's anything you need help memorizing, just let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.